Hello, Party Porter fam. So today we're gonna do a house to home series DIY. I am redoing my front door. I had repaint, I painted it one color and then it kind of looked like my house looked a little seedy. So I repainted, gave it a fresh coat of paint and hopefully my dreams are to purchase another home, my husband and I, um, in another state somewhere else. However, we have a lot of fixer uppers that we have to do to the current home that we in. Now, I really love this home, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So I started with the front doorstep. So if you see a lot of things that are out of place, it's because we just have to take our time to get started on all of these projects. So the first project I have is, I'm gonna do the front door. Now, there is a before picture of the front door. Um, I had a, a uh, well, it wasn't a reef, but it was like a cross, a door reef, I guess you could call it. Reefs are normally round, but this is a cross with some um, Easter eggs in it. I needed to take that down to replace it. However, I just, you know how you just be so busy? I am a licensed child care provider. Also, my mom just uh, passed. So I just, my mind wasn't focused on that. I was just focused on um, just doing her home going service. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, that the door just, and I had a lot of guests come through, but I know they were like, you know, you know, my door was still in the Easter range instead of something up to date. So I'm going to redo the door and I'm going to just add a little bit of little you know just some new things just to kind of tweak it to make it look better now i still need to do more home improvements to the front door but let me stop all this talking y'all want to hear what i'm here for okay so this wreath i found this wreath in my under my cabinet this wreath came from the dollar store this wreath is so aggravated because it has these little pretty little balls on it but it keeps falling off but we are going to do a door for under 25 dollars and it's still gonna look lovely, but we're gonna accent this wreath, you know, just to make it look better. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree. Um, I cut some of the flowers off, but I bought two bunches of flowers. These are a dollar piece. So I cut some of the flowers off and I'm going to stick, insert these flowers into the wreath. And we're going to, now I, I was going to get a little pop of color, but you know, just to live outside of the box because most of the flowers are burgundy and ivory, but I just decided to keep it just to play it safe. Um, because you know how you're just one of those people that just like things to just flow together. So I'm going to just take these flowers and insert them in here like this and I'm just going to randomly put them all around the reef just to add a little pop of well we live near a wooded grass area with a lot of trees we in the country, okay? We live in the country. However, sometimes I have gotten those very big reefs. And sometimes when with those reefs, there are a lot of lizards. There was even a snake on our door. So I don't get the really large ones anymore. I kind of condense the reef so that I can see because the wonderful creatures that God has made sometimes camouflage themselves into the reefs. And when I'm coming home from work or if my husband's at work, I, I don't want to get the surprise of a one of God's creatures in that reef. And I go screaming off, running off the doorstep like my hair is on fire. So I condensed the reef. And then I also, I added, I sprayed my reefs down with a like an indoor outdoor pest control so maybe that'll distract uh the creatures from camouflaging themselves inside of the reef okay so that is the finished product of the reef all i did was um 
I just added a few little flowers around just to kind of give the wreath a little life. Now, my last name is Porter. So I got this P from um, one of the home goods stores. I believe it was um, not, yeah, Hobby Lobby. And I just spray painted it. And I used this um, Universal Rust-Oleum because it kind of gives it like a shiny, um, like a, cause this was like a chalkboard. It was already black, but it was like a char chalkboard uh, color black. But I want it to be a little bit more shiny and inviting. So, and it, it just makes it more appealing. So I spray painted it with that and um, that makes that look good. So you can get whatever letter you have. Um, whatever you know whatever you want to put your last name to be now on the back of that since I have a glass door I added vel velcro strips on the back because I um, every time when you um, open the door it's like you hear that clunk 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 that was kind of annoying so I decided to just insert the P on the door and these velcro strips through rain you know like the door is it's like under a lid so it's not directly into the elements of the ear it really kept it on there a long long time so you know that is something simple a simple feature you can add to if you have like a glass door um, that can just secure that letter on and then I went to my favorite place Yes, one of my favorite places are the dollar store. This, I got this really cute birdhouse. So it's a solar panel and at night the little light comes on. Of course, I, it's a, like a little orange light, but um, I kind of like the ones, I hope they make, the, I, I would like for them to get the kind that don't have such like an orange light finish, something that's a more natural light, but you know, it'll do because this is like a little feng shui, you know. I mean, I don't know what feng shui exactly, but I just like the look of this. It's like a, like a little, um, it's like a Japanese lantern. So I like that. So yes. And then I also went to my local um, Ross department store. And that one had a, um, I found a mat for $6 called Life is Sweet because you know, that's how I, I view my life as being sweet. So at the end of each video, I like to give an inspirational quote. I really don't have one for today, but I can also just recap of me telling you previous, if anyone has lost someone that's very close to them, um, with me losing my mother, um, I was told by a lot of people, you know, like, oh my God, I can't believe your mama's dead. Your mama is like one lady just like, your mama is gone. Like she is never coming back. Like she gone. I can't believe your mama dead. And I like, you know what? You know, sometimes people just say the darndest things. They say kids say the darndest things. But within me um, hearing that, and I, I felt worse, but I'm just very, thankful to know God because God, you know, just, he sent me, mom knew a lot of nice, awesome people and she knew a lot of stupid people too. I mean, <laughs> I love you mom, but yeah. And um, these people, um, sometimes there are people that they just say things that they don't know what they're saying. I know they were just really passionate. That's their way of expressing, you know, their concern, the sincerity for you. However, I just want everyone that has lost someone that's very close to you, that that person has never gone away from you. I was speaking with the um, man that cuts my grass, the landscaper, Mr. Thomas, I'm gonna say his name, and he gave me something very inspiring. He said to me that um, he lost his mom some years ago, and he said that um, people told me my mom was gone, but your mom is never gone because she made you and you. she is in you. So your mom will always be with you. And I'm gonna do a DIY on this card, but one card, I got a lot of cards, a lot of love and support, but one card that really stayed with me was the card that was given to me by my uh, best friend, Tanya. Let me read to you what that card says. And it says, all nights, all days, love is watching over you. Your mom is still with you in spirit. 
guiding your days, blessing your dreams always. And then she wrote um, her personal message to me and my family. And I just want to encourage other people out there who have lost someone very close to you, that they're always with you. Like they're, they are, you are a part of them. So that person will always live on. So they're never dead, they're never gone, they'll always be with you. Oh, I was just talking about my mom making me cry. Let me not mess up this makeup that took me 15 minutes to put on today. Pray for me as I pray for you. Thank you for watching and you all have a blessed day.